Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to Subsistence. If you're new to Subsistence, uh, this is actually an open world base building survival game uh, where you not only have to survive the elements, but you have to survive nature and eventually rogue hunters when they come in. When they come into play, uh, that's not until we build the base command unit, which we'll get into sometime down the road. Uh, it's not something I'm ready for yet because the hunters, uh, needless to say, they're a little more geared up than I am. But anyways, it's more or less a game of trying to survive. You go around looking for these crates and collecting wood. And there's a semi-extensive crafting system. As you can see, you can make ropes and cordage and base foundations and ammo and guns. And uh, eventually, once we get the base command unit, we can get to the workbench where we can actually upgrade the weapons. Uh, but that is going to be a, t a little ways down the road. Uh, we will have to get lock picks to find special loot crates to actually get higher, higher um, upgrades. Yes, uh, things like uh, clip size and firepower, and I think reload speed was another one. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Okay, let's go. Uh, there are this game is actually written by someone who's actually doing this in his spare time. Uh, they actually work a full-time job and they work on this game as a bit of a hobby and I gotta admit for one person This is actually an amazing game uh, There are vitals we have to worry about we do have hunger we have Nutrition as well. We gotta worry about proteins and fruit and vegetable and water and we have there's stamina as well and Yeah, it's just a matter of trying to survive now There are a few things we have to look out for one of them. We have to watch find it I should say is nails uh, nails we actually need for building, I'll show you in a second here, getting to like foundations. We can make planks, cordage, and we have to have to find the nails. Uh, there are different types of different types of platforms you can make and all this stuff that you craft is actually semi-customizable as, as I said it is a base building game. Uh, as you can see the trees, you can only harvest so many logs but that's per day. Each tree is different, more or less, like some will do three, some will do four, some will do six, and then even like the little one to the right, my right there will only do one. Uh, wood is always a thing, something you always have to collect because you need so much of it, not only for, for base building, but for, uh, for firewood. Now, this is a fairly open map or a fairly big map, it is all open, you can build anywhere you want. Uh, there are some water sources that we will will be looking for. Uh, this is <laughs> actually my second playthrough, I was having trouble finding nails and it got too dark before I could even get a base foundation built. I was able to get the fire, uh, fire going but it got so dark I couldn't see anything so I had to do a bit of a start, uh, do a bit of a do-over. But Let's go along ahead and find stuff. It's nice rifle bullets. Too bad I don't have a rifle, and I'm a long way from making a rifle right now. Uh, as far as animals go, oh, grab that. I said grab that. Uh, as far as animals go, there are bears, there are wolves, there are mountain lions, there are deer, there are moose, there are rabbits, there are chickens, and there might be others too. I don't know, but there are different type of mechanics. I like, uh, just introduced fishing not too long ago, which is if you ask me it's a really great mechanic because not only does it get you food but uh, you can also use the fish to make things like uh, uh, yes fish oil you need for medical tonics which you need for adrenaline boost health kits antidotes and so on and so forth uh, there are leaves you can find uh, that will be medical herbs that we'll find and we need, need those to be making biofuel. Biofuel used for fuel. We also need to make start fire starting kits. We need to make... Uh, I think there's other things we need it for. I, it's been so long since I've actually not gotten so in-depth in the crafting. Uh, there's a bear. Oh, leave him be. Uh, the wildlife can be difficult at the best of times to deal with. Uh, a level one wolf will actually take a nine, seven rounds out of the pistol to take down. So we do have to always be on the lookout and always keep the ears open for the growls and stuff. Oh, and this is exactly the area I'm looking for. Cool. And the reason why I chose this area, or why I choose this area, because I actually know this area. This was this was the main part of the map when the game first came out. And then he has expanded it quite a bit. 
there's different types of biomes like you can go up in the mountains there there's a bit of a deserty area uh, of course uh, the there are temperatures, so as you can see up in the upper right now, it's 15 degrees Celsius. Sorry, upper left, it's 15 Celsius. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mirror my video just to correct that. Oh God, no. Uh, so that's something we have to watch out for. Uh, currently, we do not have anything on us except for a pair of pants and an axe, so we're not exactly sh protected from the elements. Now, what I just picked up there is a plant fiber. Now, these plant fibers are very critical because we need them to make cordage. They're also really hard to see. Uh, I usually go by the, um, like the level of detail drawn them to actually see them at a distance. Oh, and there's a wolf there's right there. Let's go this way. You're not following me, are you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, he's following me. We're going to have to leave that box. I'm not ready to take on a wolf right now. I don't think I have enough ammunition for it. I do. But we're not going to bother with him right now. We're actually going to go run this way and grab this box, whatever it is. So it's going to be a medical kit or ammo drop. Ammo is always good. Uh, we can actually craft ammo. It's mm, relatively cheap, depending on what you're making. The, the shotgun shells are extremely expensive, but I don't have the boomstick right now, so I'm not too worried about it. But we can make it down the road. It's actually relatively cheap to make. Uh, once we get into the base building with a BCU, we can get power, we can get lights, we can get proper stove, which allows, allows us to render animal fat down into biofuel, which is a lot better than trying to find these leaves all the time. Oh god, there's wolves everywhere. Uh, yes, I am on normal mode. Uh, there are There's an easy mode, normal, and hard mode, and basically it just determines how aggressive the animals are. I'll grab that. That is a leaf. And one thing that you always try to do is get in the habit of keeping stuff crafting. Uh, the wooden planks are expensive. Each wooden plank takes three logs. Uh, that's not a wooden plank. Three logs to craft that. We need logs and sticks to make a fire. We'll start getting that going right now. And then fire starting kits, which replaces the matches because the matches you have to find. Needs more sticks, needs biofuel, which we can make out of the medicinal leaves. Uh, there's cordage, which we need plant fibers for, but we also gotta have plant fibers for the fire starting kit. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go around and see what we can find. Uh, there's a bear, that's not what I'm looking for. Hopefully he's not looking for me and I heard a wolf, so we'll try to stay away from that for now. And hopefully we survive. I don't know if I mentioned it too, but there is uh, a nutrition nutrition system, so there's a hunger, there's a thirst, and there's also proteins and vegetables we have to worry about, and they actually affect our stamina. Uh, if, for instance, your, uh, your proteins get, get down to zero and you're only half vegetable, then your stamina may not regenerate very fast or at all. Uh, big one of the biggest bottlenecks I found in this game, other than the plant fibers, is nails. I have very few nails, and you need 12 of them just to make a one base foundation. So we'll have to definitely keep an eye out for those. I actually had to, that's why I had to restart this this recording is because it got too dark and I found nails too late. And by the time I actually had a base foundation set up, which you don't really need, but I find you're on the foundation the wolves tend to leave you alone that's the wolves anyways not the bears but it was so dark I couldn't actually see anything uh, as you saw I picked up some seeds there is farming we can do uh, that again that's the base command unit everything's locked behind the base command unit uh, we will have to get into that eventually because that's when we're actually going to start upgrading our weapons because uh, we need the workbench for that uh, weapons don't have to be upgraded. What is that? Nothing. Uh, but you know, when the time comes, it's nice to be able to nice to be able to take out a bear in three shots with a shotgun, <laughs> especially when the thing's running you down. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we're gonna keep going along and see what we can find. And, you know, the more more supplies we find, the better. Uh, try not to stray too far either, because we need to be by that water source because we need to drink. Now, if you look at my canteen here, as you can see, it's got a blue water drop. It's letting me know it's purified water. 
Uh, you can't actually drink water out of the pond. Oh, I heard you. Uh, because it's contaminated water and you have to actually boil it in a campfire to be able to make it potable. Or in layman's terms, so you can drink it without dying. But let's go up here and see what we can find. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for these wooden boxes because it's where we find nails and we can find other things like cordage and stuff like that. Now I know it says um, hold F to unlock, but we're not actually unlocking it, we're just opening it and realistically it it takes you some time to unlock it and I thought that was a wolf that's why I stopped there so yeah it kinda kinda makes sense we will find eventually these uh, I don't know what you would call them like I don't know what the actual name is for they're basically reinforced crates that you need actual lockpicks to get but if you find one of those and you have a lockpick then usually you get a good score but let's see how I'm doing for nails. 25. Okay, let's make it some more planks on the go. I'm going to craft a whole bunch up and then we're going to get some more wood because we're going to need the wood for the fire too. And let us go. And one more. Yeah, if I didn't mention it, the, the trees can produ uh, give any three, four, or six logs depending on the size of the tree. Uh, can't cut the trees down you can collect so much wood per day from each tree and then the next day it will more or less respawn and allow you to collect more now the fibers have, are another one that we gotta watch out for too because we need these fibers and usually what I do is uh, I use the level of detail change to actually spot them I don't know if you can see it just to lift the tree there's actually one right there and that's how I usually can tell it because it usually ends up being a little darker at a distance. So we go ahead and grab that. Uh, that was uh, the biggest things that people had trouble with in the beginning of this game was trying to actually find those fibers. Because you know what? When everything's green and you got plant life everywhere, it's kind of hard to find a, a stringy plant just out in the open like that. But they have been somewhat better to see. Uh, like I like I said, I just try to use a level of detail to see them, but it's not always the case because you think that would be one there, but that's actually a fern. And I just know this from experience. But let us continue on our way and grab a bunch of stuff. We're going to actually get some stuff crafted uh, just because there is a day-night cycle. I think the day cycle is about 25 minutes and you get about 10 or 15 minutes at night. I don't actually record at night. Usually that's when I end the episode. So we'll do that. Let's get a campfire going. We'll craft that. Let's see if we can make a fire starting kit. We can. Let's make a couple more sticks first. And we'll make a fire starting kit and a foundation. Now, cordage we need make from plant fibers. Plant fibers are the things that I've been picking up. Uh, we do actually need these for other things like the fire starting kit. Uh, but cordage is always good because, as you can see, just to make a foundation, we need two cordage, 12 nails, and five planks. So it is kind of expensive, but nobody said this game was easy. This is all about survival, and if you're not careful, this game will <laughs> will get you pretty quick. Especially when you're running from some, running running from a wolf and just happen to run right into a bear. <gasps> oh yeah, that's uh, fun. Now, one of the things I used to do in the, the, in the, the previous series I did, which sadly I had to take the videos down from my channel because the cursed bad audio I had in the beginning. But I used to make a lot of morning, more, morning wood jokes. That always got to be the funnest thing I did in the game. Oh, I thought that was a crate, but it wasn't. But anyways, what do we have so far? What are we crafting? We are working on the fire on the campfire, so that's good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reload this, just in case. A full clip will actually be able to take down a wolf if you hit everything that right, that is. Uh, we can go ahead and craft some ammo. We'll do that. Now these are all the things we can actually craft on our person. As you can see, we can actually make a shotgun. It's actually doable. we got to get the, the hides, but we get that from the rabbits and, okay, and the bears. That's right. But as you can see, these are our tools, that's our base stuff, ammo, medical supplies, and we can even get into the making armor and clothing and stuff like that just to 
get a little bit of protection from the wildlife and the elements. But so far I'm off to a good start. I got the campfire, I got the fire starting kit, I have a foundation made, and I have found my location. Uh, you can, from, from what I've heard, you can catch the rabbits. Oh, that's a bear. I'm not going to bother, bother with that tree. Uh, but they're they're pretty fast, but you can actually catch chickens, so you can chase them down. But I just don't know if it's worth the stamina. Uh, there are diseases in, dis diseases in the game too, so that's something you have to watch out for. That's why you always have to boil your water. Uh, you can actually swim in the lakes. We're actually going to go in there and have a look around and see if we can find some kelp, because kelp you can actually eat and it will not go bad. There is food spoilage, uh, especially with the meat. And... Uh, you can actually burn food too. So here's some kelp. We'll grab that. It's not the best food in the world, but it's free. It's something to eat. It keeps us alive. It's our veg. Too bad we can't find any meat this way, but you can go fishing and we'll probably end up getting that eventually. But we have to find the big the big trees that give you the six logs. Because that's how you get the tree grubs, which you use for bait. You do have to make tackle, which is I think it was two sticks of cordage and a tree grub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up here because this is this is usually where I set up is somewhere on this area, and that's just because <laughs> I know the area so I don't get lost. Uh, how are we doing for time here? Eh, we're not too bad. Let's go have a look around a little bit first. All right, I'm wet. That's that's fine. I don't think that really matters too much. But if I was wet and to go up into the mountains, for instance, I'm sure I'd probably freeze to death. We're not letting that happen. No siree. So I'll grab some wood and... Uh, oh, that's the wrong button. Let's see how, much, how many logs I've got. I've got a few. I've got plenty of planks, so maybe we'll make a second foundation. Uh, there are different types of foundations you can build. Walls, you can have like doorways, windows, half walls, corner walls, and so on and so forth. But I'm going to get a second foundation going just... So we have a little more room. Actually, better yet, just get a storage crate going. Need more cordage. Need one more. I have enough fibers. We'll make a cordage. And then when that's done, we'll go ahead and make the, the crate. I do have to eat. And I'm going to have to get some meat eventually. Oh, yeah, we got, the, got that too. Uh, there are There is farming we can do. And as you can see, we've got some onion seeds. There's onions. There's carrots. There's tomatoes, but you don't find the tomatoes in the wild. You actually have to grow those. You find the seeds from the uh, the supply drops. And I see a fiber. We need these fibers like you would not believe. And I don't think you can actually grow them. I know you can grow the medicinal herbs. There is mining, as you can see. This is, I believe, that's, that's magnesium. I think this is iron, but that might be potassium as well. Uh, in order to use that, we need the refinery, which everything is locked behind the base command unit. Uh, the base command unit is basically the next tier of crafting. We don't need it right away. Uh, when you do build the base command unit, though, you have a couple of days till the hunters move into the area. And that's when you got to watch out for. Uh, usually they won't bother you unless you cross their path. If you try to attack them, they will hunt you down and attack you when you least expect it. So fortification is a thing, but you have complete freedom in the build in your building so if you you can get, you can set up a nice big fortress and have two or three perimeter walls out there that the hunters have to get through before they can even get to your base um, I think that at one point in time there was taught he had mentioned about adding headshots to the game that they would actually count uh, whether or not that's actually a thing I have no idea and let's go see what we have up here. I'm going to try not to run around too much, not only because of my stamina, but, you know, I don't want to run into something I don't want to run into. I want to eat, not be eaten. <laughs> After all, that's how you survive, right? You don't die. That's how you win the game. But that's pretty much how it is with every game. Did I get you? No, I didn't. You can tell you've gotten to the tree because you'll see a red X. Uh, one of the biggest improvements he done to the did to this game that I personally think is like one of the best things he's did was the fact that you automatically pick up those logs 
because you would go up to a tree and you cut it and you get your three logs and then you have to go on the ground and you have to try to find them in the grass and pick them up which was a bit of a pain in the ass if you ask me but we are starting to get dark uh, if you, I think I don't know if I mentioned it but if you look in the upper left there you can see it's 18 degrees Celsius uh, when it gets dark it gets cold and when it gets dark it gets really dark so I usually don't record at night that's why so I usually just more or less set up my episodes into days and go from there. How am I doing for nails? I got 15. So I got a fire starting kit, I got a campfire, I got a foundation. Oh, I was going to make the crate, yes. And that's in case I die. At least I have a place to store stuff. Uh, there is a penalty for dying. You do get a bit of an illness, but at the same time too, I think it's a random chance you can lose your items, but you do have to go and find it, your body. You will get a you will get a HUD marker to show you where your corpse is, and you'll go there and you'll find a backpack, and uh, that will be your stuff. As far as your base, there is no actual map or anything like that. So if you get lost, you get lost. But when you get the base command unit, it does have a small little reticle that shows up on the screen that more or less pinpoints where your base is. So before we start getting settled in for the night. Let's just take a quick look around, see what we got. Uh, vitals, we're doing okay. We could actually drink, so I'm going to go ahead and drink that. And we'll go down go down to the pond and fill it up with water. We'll have to get that on the fire to boil it. Uh, sadly, I don't have any meat right now, so we won't, won't be cooking any food, but at least we'll be staying warm. And uh, one of the things you do have to make sure you do until you actually get a proper base set up is to make sure that you have matches or a fire starter at least. No. Ah, okay. Now, uh, someone had mentioned that to me. That I don't have to actually have that on your hot bar. You can just stand in the water. You hit F and it fills it. Now you see it's brown, so that means it's contaminated water. So in order to drink it, I have to purify it. And that's what we're going to do pretty soon here, because the sun is starting to go down, which means we're going to be ending this episode pretty quick. Grab a little more wood. I'm not going to worry about crafting any planks right now because I don't really need them. I need firewood more than anything. And yeah, what else we got here? Nothing up there. Now these boxes can sp spawn anywhere. They can be up on the, the rocks, they can be on the ground. I don't think they can be in the water, but that's not an issue. Uh, we can make a bow, but in order to make arrows we need, we need one feather, one nail, two sticks, I think. And it gets you two two arrows. Uh, the arrows are reusable unless you hit a rock and they will break. Uh, sometimes they will have a random chance of breaking too if they hit the ground. Grab a little more wood here. And there we go. And I heard a wolf. Oh, shut up. I don't want to deal with you right now. I gotta make more ammo before I can I can have a lunch. We'll probably have to deal with that in the morning because it is getting dark. So I've got got a crate. I want to actually want to see what I got for fibers. See if I can make another foundation. Uh, I got enough, so we'll make another cordage. Make that. Actually, I think I had enough to make a foundation. I don't even have enough at nails, so forget it. Now, crafting does go on in the background, so you don't have to worry about that. You'll probably see a message popping up pretty quick saying that I've crafted. Or here, here's some, there you go, craft, craft complete cordage. So let's take another look around. Oh, there we go. Nails. And there's plant fiber over there. If it doesn't despawn, I'm going to grab it. Hello, Mr. Bear. Don't mind me. I'm just, just playing with my box here. Hee hee hee. Yeah. That can be taken in so many ways, huh? Uh, let's go see what else we can find. Wow, we still have some light. Uh, this is our only source of light right now. It's garbage. Like, it doesn't actually do anything. But let's have a look around here. See what we can find. More fibers. Fibers are always good. Lots of fibers. Some scrap there, too. Oh, actually, that's what I'm looking for right here. We need those nails. And I have enough. Let's make another... Make another cordage quickly. Oh. Gotta actually click it, craft some cordage, and then we'll end up crafting another foundation. And grab that. 
Anything else? Oh, what is that? Oh, scrap metal. I thought I said like soup meal or something. That's what happens if you don't have your contacts in. But it is getting dark, so let's run over here. Hopefully not run into anything that could be potentially hazardous or lethal. And we're going to go set up on this rock here. Uh, just off the rock. Uh, I like it being up in an area like that because you get a high vantage point so you can watch out for animals. So we'll also take a quick look around, see if there's any boxes we can find just in case. But I'm not seeing much. So let's go ahead and get our base set. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want seven. Uh, as you can see, it's fully open where you can build. Uh, I think I might actually bridge across here just for the sake of it. So let's go ahead and we'll place that one there. Jump up on top. Uh, I think I was going to make another one. Do I have enough? I do. Alright. We're going to craft that. Let's go ahead and place our campfire down. And... Yeah, right there is good. Uh, you, can't, you can't actually burn yourself in the fire, so you don't need to worry about that. We'll wait till this foundation's done and we'll place that down and we'll get it all going so we'll place this one here now as you as you can see there you can have it do, don't have to go right on the, the edge you can go halfway in you can place stuff almost wherever you want uh, at the same time too you can actually dismantle stuff or you can move stuff I was holding N, by the way, to move it. Uh, same with the, the crate, the storage crate here. If it's full of stuff, you can actually move it. Go ahead and open it up. It's got lots of inventory space, which is good. So, but we're going to leave that for now because we need to get a fire going. Uh, how are, how am I doing for food? I could use something. We'll eat the kelp just because. Uh, I haven't seen the fruit actually spoil yet, but you never know. Uh, the meat will spoil, so you do have to watch out for that. This is our fire pit, or campfire. Uh, this is just basic. You can get a wood burner as you progress and get the base command unit. So we add our fuel there, it fills it up. You can also make fuel bricks out of 10 plant fibers. Uh, that'll fill up the fire all the way, which is really good. I'm gonna save the matches, because I need them. You put your ignition source there. You can stack them and all that stuff. So ignite. We're gonna get the water get the water purifying because you know it's always good to do that and I'm gonna put a few things away there's bandages you can break your leg you can make splints and all that stuff but don't need those don't need those and what else can I put in here I'll put that in there and that and the seeds keep the food on me and I'll keep the pistol the bullets on me just in case I'll put circuits in there because we don't really need them right now and then as we as we actually use the fire we get ash the ash can be used for fertilizer and I think you can use that I'm not sure but I think you use that for creating gunpowder but that's once we get the base command unit all right so I got my water I got my fire I got some nails I got lots of good stuff and it is dark so I think this is a good place to end this first episode I hope you all guys enjoyed this if, uh, if you're new to this again uh, it's a really good game it gets to the point where it becomes a tug of war with these 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 hunters when the time comes, but that's they won't show up until we do that. Uh, we could do it now, but now is not the time. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like, and I will see you in the next one. Later.